In this tutorial, we're going to look at the different ways of configuring InfoWorks ICM, and in particular, how to configure InfoWorks ICM to work as part of a work group of computers within a corporate environment. By default, InfoWorks ICM can be installed on a single machine and can operate quite happily in that configuration. On the graphic in front of us, we can see that one of the uh, users within a corporate environment is working on their own laptop or their own PC. That's the item circled in red. That user can install InfoWorks ICM on their machine and can do everything from model building and the running of simulations to the analysis of results. And they can do all that out of the box without any configuration at all on their own machine. However, InfoWorks ICM is much more powerful if it's connected to a group of other machines also running InfoWorks. And those machines can act as remote agents to do simulations offline, to do meshing offline, and to coordinate the general communication of all the computers within the workgroup. To change InfoWorks ICM from a standalone installation to a workgroup installation, we can use the control button on the simulation dialog box. That's shown down here, the little green icon. If we open that up, we'll be given a dialog which allows us to configure the software to work as part of a workgroup. As I said, by default, the agent on the local machine will operate entirely standalone and will run as a standalone installation. And this will be fine. You can do the model building, you can do the simulation, but obviously only on your own computer. What we can do, however, is to um, enhance some of the control parameters if we wish and InfoWorks ICM allows us to run multiple concurrent simulations on a single workstation if that machine has got the power to do it. So if you have a powerful multi-core or multi-chipped Xenon machine or a multi-core workstation then you can uh, make much better use of that power by allowing the software to run multiple simulations at the same time. If you wish to ensure that your computer is not overloaded from uh, multiple simulations, you can also restrict the ability of the software to uh, use all of the cores and all of the processes on the machine. Now, we can very quickly change from using our um, software in a standalone environment to using our software in a workgroup environment. And when we do that, at least one of the computers in the uh, overall workgroup must be nominated as what we call the coordinator. We can see that in the uh, graphic on the screen behind us, the computer that's been nominated as our coordinator is one of the central servers within the workgroup. This computer's task is to simply manage the communication between all other connected computers that have InfoWorks ICM installed on them. You can, if you wish, uh, nominate that your own machine will be the coordinator. Or, if you know there's a computer within the network and you already know its host name, then simply enter its host name here and that machine will be nominated as the coordinator. Your machine will continue to work quite happily in a standalone method, so its a local agent will continue to run. But what you can also do is nominate that your machine, shown here in the uh, with the red circle around it, that your machine will also be able to act as what's called a remote agent. So in other words, other people within the group, say the person sitting at this computer, or maybe the person sitting at this computer, they are able to send results, uh, send simulations to your computer and send remote meshing commands to your computer. Your computer will run the simulation or your computer will generate the mesh and then pass the information back through the coordinator to the original host that um, issued the run or issued the mesh job in the first place. If you want to allow that to happen, then you tick the box that we have here. With your settings complete, we save those settings and the software will warn us that doing this has essentially changed the original agent configuration and if there were any jobs that were running on your machine, they will need to restart. In this case, there are no jobs running, so we can say yes. And you'll now see that having not just a local agent running on my machine, but I am now connected to the coordinator, shown in the graphic behind. And on top of that, there are four other computers also connected to that same coordinator. And all four of these machines are now available to me to uh, act as remote hosts. So from my computer, from my local machine, I can send jobs via the coordinator to any of these four computers that we have here. So that's a quick summary of setting up InfoWorks ICM 
and changing its default configuration from a standalone uh, environment to a uh, simple workgroup system or even a more complex corporate environment uh, working at the enterprise level.